What is going on my friends? Welcome to Florida, the inland side. Out there is the ocean, way out there. We're quite a bit inland. But we are fishing off a pier today. We're gonna be eating whatever we can catch for the next three days out here with me ancient. Check out his channel in the description. Guys, we are just going to fish for the next three days and eat whatever we catch. All right, so Pops, I think since there are four guys fishing out there, we just like yeah. fish right here. And, uh, cause this is where some bait is and we just fish around these pillars and stuff like that. Might be some snook. I think I'm gonna wait for them to come through here, the clear stuff. The, oh yeah, the, the yeah. sandy stuff, be able to see them against the bottom. Yep. All right, sweet. Guys, we're just gonna stop mid pier here. Sometimes, sometimes it's good to fish all the way on the end of the pier. In fact, we could park all of our stuff right here, Pops. Um, sometimes it's good to fish off the end of the pier, but we found that sometimes actually like fishing the rocks and stuff on both ends or like mid pier is as good or better. All right, my friends. First thing I'm gonna start off is with this top water, and then we'll probably go live bait later. I always like to start off though with a little with a little lure action usually. Do you see a bunch? Oh, nice. I usually like to start off with a little lure action though, just because it'd be fun to catch something on it. But if, one thing I've done for me personally, whenever I try to use artificial in the salt water, I'm not super successful with it. I just have a lot to learn still. So I usually start off with something artificial, have minimal success, and then ended up using live bait anyway, so. All right, my friends, the lure thing did not work too well. So I'm going to live bait. <laughs> Here we go, piece of live bait swimming around. Guys, guys, look at this dude up here. Instead of using four wheel drive, he, I don't know if he's trying to be cool or not. Oh, it's a bunch of teenage kids. It's probably their dad's truck. They're just burning up the tires. They're just absolutely burning up the tires trying to pull the boat out of the water. I'm getting bit on a pinfish. Oh, I missed him. Oh, missed him again. Oh, oh my goodness. What the heck? Guys, look at the... Oh, something with teeth is down there. Got one, got one, guys. Got a fish, got a fish. Oh, it's a flounder. It's a flounder. This is what I came to Florida for. On a pinfish. Oh, he's a little small, but sweet. As a newbie, I will take it. All right. Oh, not a keeper by any means, but still a fun fish. I saw fish splashing, catch fish splashing. Did I just, got him. I saw flounder swim over and get it that time. I literally, I thought, wait, there's movement in the sand. A little one, but cool. <laughs> I, I saw like a disturbance in the sand. That was cool. Man, I, these are such a cool fish. He was right by the bank. That's, that's funny, cause you don't see him. And then all of a sudden they just, Pop up little guy, we'll throw him back though. Gosh, that was on that same pinfish. I just used a dead one because um, I didn't want to walk all the, way, all the way over to where my dad is. You know, I'm just gonna put this fish head on. There's this random dead fish head in here. And then I'll go get some more live bait from him. He's cast netting. All right, guys. Micah and his family got me this cast net for my birthday. Check this out. The weights are inside the, the uh, rope. You don't have any exposed weights. In fact, the, the rope itself is weighted. So this is gonna be quite something. It's heavier gauge nylon uh, line. Those sinkers are hidden and this thing is huge. It's like, uh, let's take a look here. There's the deck, there's that. It goes up, I'm guessing a good eight feet. So this is gonna be interesting for me to figure out how to cast it. We'll. Uh, See what we can come up with. It does
does not appear as though I got anything on that cast. Oh, I got, I got a flounder. Check this out. That is cool. All right. <clears throat> All right, guys. Check this out. There's a flounder. He's got some teeth to him. Got the eyeball looking up. Two eyeballs looking up. And then you flip them over. And they're just pretty white. That is such a cool looking fish. Check that out. All right, get him back in the water. There he goes. Yeah, I see at least a couple, or one I should say, for sure. Oh yeah, I see a couple. Excellent. All right, let's take a look. Pinfish. And one of those cigar looking things. There we go. I like the looks of those. Though. I really do. Those are good looking fish, I think. I see a bunch of them out there. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's what we want. The cool thing about this is, too, you never know what else you're going to get. I mean, we'll get pinfish this time, but... Here pretty soon we're gonna have enough. Check this out guys. Little live starfish. Just gotta keep getting out there and looking at things. Isn't that fun? Very cool. Look at those big boats. One day folks I'm gonna buy one of those saltwater boats. One of these days. Of course I'm having a lot of fun right by the shore right now. Oh shoot! Well he's right there. Dang, gosh, he was biting it good, but let's flip it back down there. Dang it. Do I have one? I've got one, a flounder again. That, I didn't even know I had him, actually. Oh, guys, this might be a keeper. This might, oh, well, he looked bigger underwater. Yeah. Yes, Pops. Might be. Might be. Oh, there's my bait. He's left me my bait. Let me put it in there. Hmm, he's gonna be close. Cool, first spot, just wow. getting some fish. Very nice. They have to be 14 inches. Ooh, he's not gonna be, I don't know what I was, I'm not very good at judging. It's good to know flat where fish. he is, so then you know the next one. Uh-huh, so he's like 11 and a half. There you go. Well, that's cool, guys. Love a flat fish. Oh, guys, look at the clouds of bait right here. That's why we have so many fish hanging out. I just throw it out into the sandy areas. I figure that's where the flounder are mostly laying. And that's where I don't get snagged. I need a big and big doormat, as the cool kids say. Hey, dude, what's cooking, man? Yeah, you want a fish? You want a little flounder, don't you? You've been watching me catch them. And you're like, can I get on some of that action? How are you, sir? It is. Yes, sir. It's a GoPro. I make uh, fishing videos for a living. Okay. Do you like? Do you ever watch YouTube? Oh yes, I love it. I'll give you my card if you have over almost 400 fishing videos on YouTube. If you want to check it out, so that's why I'm filming one right now. So. Boat the water, drive up, park it, walk right over there, get my camper, stay when it's hot, and when it starts cooling off, get. Got him. Flounder. Dang, I'm sure he is, ain't it? Another little one. I've got three. Oh, shoot. It's the third one, but they've uh, all been small. But... Yeah. Huh. Yeah. There we go. 14 inches is the minimum. Yeah. Got another one. They must be down there thick. Because this is pretty fast action. I'm going to go down here and fish this little sad spot. Sounds good. He, uh, this gentleman here, what was your name, sir? Brady. He, he, just, uh -huh. he just said the redfish will hold up right under the pier throw here. Up underneath the pier. Oh, Everybody yeah. goes in and throws sure. away from them. The fish, if they're going to be underneath some kind of shade, something. Makes sense. They just like a sure. freshwater fish or anything else. Sure. That makes sense. Guys, I'm going to fish around this pier now, around the base of the pier. I'm not really getting many more bites. Hey, whoa, bro. Whoa. Hey, get out of my line, you big stupid bird. Oh, 
Oh, I just had one. A really nice one. Oh, man. <laughs> Guys, we got the fish down here. We got, look, look at all the bait. Look at all the bait. We've got, it's, go, it's on right here. Got him. Oh, it's a snapper. I got me a mangrove snapper. I don't think it's a keeper, but there's something different. Sweet. Well, that is darn cool. To be 10 inches, and he is nine, of course. All right, my friends. <gasps> what the? I didn't even see what that was because I was looking under the pier. Did you guys? Maybe the GoPro got it. Maybe do like a slow mo of what that was. Man, guys, that fish was so lightning fast. I didn't even didn't even see it. Whoa! How'd you get all those? Those guys just got, they've got a real fine mesh net. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah. Um, if you want to get some, well, yeah, I don't know if you take this. We'll just get them in there. I was going to get some water. Oh, there you go. Thank you. There we go. He said they're good. They're, they're good for bait. Sweet. So. All right, guys, switching tactics. I have some of those fish on that those folks caught for us. Thank you to them. And I have no sinker or anything. I'm just going to let him free line 12 pound fluorocarbon with a small circle hook. Oh, oh, look, 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 something had it and was swimming away. And then I pulled it away. Wait, he's coming over. He grabbed it again. Boy, this fish is so fast. Oh, shoot. He stole it. I do not know what kind of fish that is. It is lightning quick. <laughs> that free line worked though. Oh man, thank you to those people who got us all oh, this yeah, bait. That was that sweet. Was... Got him finally. Got one, whatever those fast fish are. And there's a bunch of them following him. Oh, these little yet leather ones. Okay, okay. Well, these have a barb on them, guys, that I got spiked once. But they're no good as bait because the game fish don't eat them. Yeah, guys, if I'm not mistaken, these ones are nasty. And it lays down so you don't see the spike. But then they bring the spike up and, whoo, it'll hurt you. Come on. This time I'm going to cast under the pier. Got him. Oh, it's a nice mangrove. Oh, it's a keeper. Yes, just free lining. That's a big, big one. That's one of the bigger ones I've ever caught. Yes, guys, you talk about a tasty fish. This is exactly what we're looking for with our seafood feast. Don't even have to measure that one. All right, there we go, my friends. I just killed him with a knife. We're gonna stick him right on the ice. In fact, I'm stuck him in the ice bag. Kind of cover him. We have a bigger cooler that we're gonna fill up, but I'm just gonna stick them in this one for now. So I don't have to go all the way back to the truck. Yeah, I'd say we fish just a little bit more and then we go get lunch. Got him. Ah, another one of those. <laughs> they they jump like a tarpon. Yeah, look, you got a bunch of fish from mine. Let me get my line up. Uh, it's one of those ones, we don't really care about eat, keeping these. So, oh man, look at all of them. There are a ton of them down there. That is nuts. Hey, no, no, you don't. No, you don't. Look at this guy. He is bold. You know what? I'll drop him in the water, and if you are fast enough, you can have him. Almost. If you can grab him, you can have him. You weren't fast enough. Got him. This is a good fish, good fish. Got to get him away from the pole. Oh, it's another keeper mangrove. Yes. Oh, look at the pelican. He wanted it. Yes. Two of them. Bam. Boy, he put up a fight. Almost. They're like 11 and a half. Sweet. How big that feet? 10. Oh, nice. All right, my friends. Success. Well, my friends, you couldn't ask for a better, well, maybe you could ask, you know, 
doormat flounder and redfish and everything. You know what I'm saying. You couldn't ask for a better morning in a brand new fishing spot. But uh, we're going to be done for now and uh, regroup, rig up, eat lunch, and then we're going to see what we're going to do next. Mm. Mm. <laughs> All right, my friends. Um, so we thought we'd do a little evening beach fishing, but right as we got started down at the beach, it started to rain. Very typical Florida thing. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna keep we're gonna go for it anyway, and yeah, see what we catch in the rain. <laughs> uh, sure. Oh, boy, that's a cold rain. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to be out here. Actually, this is a really cold rain for some reason. All right, guys. So what I'm doing? I am trying a pompano rig. We've never done one of these before. Kind of like a almost like a drop shot rig, kind of a special saltwater drop shot rig. Let's see what happens. This water is so warm. This is unbelievable. On Asa, this water is so warm. Oh my heavens. This is gonna be great. Fish on! Fish on! Oh yeah! You tell me. That's a jack. That's a jack for ball. Okay. We don't need those. That's small, baby. Uh, I'm probably not that small. Okay. But still, there you go. That's cool. Yeah. All right. I floated down and I got that. That's, that's our first fish on that type of lure, guys. Yeah, that's that's like cool. a common floor, or I mean, it's becoming a common Florida lure. Very cool. And, yeah. <laughs> There's a pirate ship in the background there, guys. <laughs> that's crazy. All right, first fish on that type of lure. We just learned how to use it. It's like a little fly on top and then a heavy like pink sinker on the bottom. Yeah. yeah. If it was bigger we'd keep it. Yeah, but... Well that's good thumbs out there. Yeah. What are we doing out here? Well my friends, we gave it a try. I guess we'll see you guys in the morning. All right, my friends. We are out now on a pier. And it appears we are the only ones out here. And that's because the fishing is terrible. We actually just got done fishing this morning. And I'm not even going to show it to you guys because all we caught were pinfish. I mean, a lot of pinfish. I don't think we caught anything else except pinfish. It was tough and so all the fishermen have even left the pier and uh, we're the only ones out here. However, when we came out we did see, oh yeah look at that, there's a big crab guys right there. We looked down, it's slack tide right now and a bunch of crabs are walking around the base of the pier and so we're gonna try to catch them. I brought a single crab trap with me on this trip folks i hope the rope is long enough we just want to do like this big old chunk yeah of mullet. just to do the whole thing let's, do it. let's just yeah all right i guess yeah not do it on this seat that's probably good idea. <laughs> i'm excited this, yeah, me too those, those, those are, are some those they are the look huge crap i think i've ever seen yeah <laughs> i think so me too like okay i see a couple oh yeah so there. i would say we go over that one since that one oh yeah three of them right here so yeah Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that, guys. Oh look at it. Look at it. He's, whoa, he's, he's charging in. He there you go. Like, That's mine. Should we just pick um, him up or should we wait for yeah, more? Let's, oh, man, what do we do? I say we wait for more. Yeah, th this guy's, he's moving. Oh, yeah, guys, look at him. Look at him, another one. He's getting right. Come on, dude. Don't if be shy. Get, if we get two in there, I, I say we Yeah, I say we, we don't get greedy. Yeah, we just yeah. pull it up. Just keep her size. I think so, yeah. yeah. Come on, there come goes. on, there we go. There he goes. All right, pull him up. Yes! Yes! Oh, oh shoot! What happened? How did that happen? Oh, man, I swear they were bigger. <laughs> <laughs> they looked humongous from down there. Pretty cool. uh, average size. Oh, there's a third one now. Oh, yeah, there are a bunch of them at the stanchions and stuff. Oh, well, we so. got one. Okay. Oh, there we are. Yeah, careful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there's 
Yes. All right. First yeah. catch of the day. We're, we're heading down. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, that one down there looks huge. It looks kind of bluer, too. That's Shell Island, maybe that's it. I don't, I'm not really sure. Oh, he's going. I'd say I if that big one gets in, that. yeah. Nice. That is a good one. <laughs> this is cool. I can't believe it. Look how blue. Okay, it did look blue from up there, and it is. It's like a. I mean, it's, it's more, more bluer than the other ones. More bluer. That's more bluer. Double superlative right there. Okay, dude, come on, here we go. Lady, oh, look at her. She's just flipping over and grabbing. She She's vicious. She's angry. <laughs> oh, jeez. Get that bucket open, would you? You got her? Just pin her down, yeah. You're a better man than I. There we go. She's pretty. Look how blue she is. Okay. Here we go. Got another one down there? There? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, there are two of them, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, and they're kind of like... Come on, come this way, come this way. Oh, they're both running it right in it. Hey, yeah, doubles. <laughs> doubles. There we go. Oh, one of them's kind of small. Sweet, guys. This yeah, is crazy. Oh, he's hanging on. He's like, I don't want to... I don't want to die. Wow, guys, look how beautiful the water is. There's a stingray. Big stingray right there. That is cool. Man, the water is so clear. That's a kind of hurt you. Yeah, don't want to step on that, dude. Whew. Oh, big, big crab right there, ladies and gentlemen. Look at it just charges in. Easy as you please. <laughs> It's so funny how they look absolutely enormous they from really up do. here. I mean, it's the water effect. Is yes. that, yeah. Yeah, it's just. This is fun. Like, sight, it's like sight. Sight fishing. Sight trapping. Sight trapping for good. He's gonna. Look at, look at. Oh, stingray coming. He'll eat whole fish, too. And he'll eat crabs. That would be cool if he ate a crab. This is cool to see see it all in on such a clear day like this. Yeah. You got the stingray right there, and you have one of the crabs right there. He better watch out. Man. Yeah, you wouldn't. You wouldn't want to step out from the beach on top of that dude. Man. That happens sometimes, folks. People get really bad injuries from those. One to pop. That is way cool. It's like that is. He smells the mullet. No way. He wants it. Yeah, he wouldn't get in the trap, though. Wow, now that the sun has come out, like it looks even more beautiful and clear. Oh, here's a big crab right here, Pops. All right, so we got a couple. Oh, they're... man, it's crazy how they run in it so fast. There's another one. Yeah, the other one's thinking about it. The other one's right there. Oh, he's, he's moving. He's making moves. It doesn't, sometimes like even when they see it lowered down, they're like, I don't know. But then all of a sudden, they see everybody else having fun. And they're like, let's get in there. I, I think you have four. You want to pull it up? I think so. Let's do it. All right. Oh, one got away. We got triples. Uh, these might be oh. a little small. Huh? Yeah. Well, one's one's, one's a keeper. Yeah, I want that one. Definitely. Oh, there's a keeper. Look at, hey, 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 you little ninja. You're a little ninja. Oh. They squirt water at you too. Yeah, they squirt yeah. water and hold up their claws. There's so many good cats. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll let this one go, Pops. I think we have enough. Yeah. 
I think I'm only two. I think you have to spin them. That's not to be cruel. That is to make sure they um, don't. Well, you know, it probably doesn't apply to blue crabs. I just know when you're in Oregon and you had the big dungeness and you threw them back from this really high up spot we used to crab, you always had to spin them so that they didn't land flat and they'd break. But that's with it, like a crab that's like three times the size. So yeah, I forgot about that day. You had to, had to spin them. There we go. Dropped right in. He didn't land flat. Well, one more. Yeah, let's do one more. If it's a big one. Oh yeah, gosh, they're just everywhere. No, that does, that truly does look like a really nice one right there. Let it settle to the bottom. They see it. And then, making moves, jumps right in. And we have another one who's a little hesitant. But then, it's like they decide it and they're like, go, go, go. They'll watch and watch and then they'll like, make a run. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Whoa! Wow! America! Are those Chinooks? You've yeah. ridden in those before? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Several times. Yeah, definitely. I love the sound of them. Oh, yeah. It's powerful. All right. All right pull up two in there. Two in there. Pull up the last, last couple here. Yeah. Snap it shut. Oh, he's hanging on the. Oh, we have one claw. Have him by one claw. Oh <laughs> yes. Yes. You'll be the keeper. Yes, too. that is the keeper. Just come on. There we Guys, go. we got him by a claw. There we go. Well, that Sweet, that was fun. That Ooh. was what a stop. Woo. I'm glad we looked down. Oh well, my gosh! I'm glad you looked down. I was looking the, out. The, Man, that was a great catch right there, son. The fishing was uh, was nothing, but the crabbing is was amazing. So wow! Check this out, my friends. Beautiful day at the beach. Windy day at the beach. At an ash at a, an inlet actually. But the wind is nice because it's cool. Otherwise, it would be blazing out here. Check it out. We got a wedding going on here. That's pretty cool. Well, we are going fishing off the jetty. So we fished this jetty yesterday and only caught a bunch of pinfish and then a couple just little undesirable fish. But we've heard that it can be dynamite and there are a ton of fishermen out here. So we'll see what uh, what happens. Hey, guys, this is Steve. He's a subscriber. Yes, sir. And he's just fishing out here. Any luck? Uh, yeah, we caught a uh, 27 and a half inch red. Oh, tw nice. And um, two uh, mangroves now. Two mangroves. Okay, sweet. You know, <laughs> no, that's good. They're biting. The last time we were out here, uh, we were out here for about like three three hours or so, and all we caught were pinfish. If you are, um, we using bull minnows, so we're getting better luck. If you are, um, we use a shrimp, the um, pinfish chew them up. Okay. Like any type of bait fish. And so, what do you use as bait instead? Uh, bull minnows. <laughs> One last thing about fish. Everybody's... Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Is that? You know, I caught these before. Oh, wait. Okay. Yep. Yep. Cool. Is that a mullet? No, it's a, no, sir. Not a mullet. It's yeah. Um, did you say mud minnow? Men minnow is what they call them in South or mullet, bull minnows. Okay. Okay. Sweet. That looks like epic bait. Appreciate it. Catching eat today? Uh, yes, sir. All right. Hopefully, uh, we already had some blue crabs and some mangrove snapper from uh, from another location. So. Oh, what are those little like uh, those little aquarium get the, looking get fish? The name of them, but they good bait too. Okay, excellent. Thank yeah. you. Appreciate that. Let me know you come yeah, thank you so much. Yes, sir. Yeah, if there are a lot of jellyfish, you can just move, yeah. you know, to that side. Yeah. So, all right, guys. My dad is going to go. He's going to snorkel actually along the rocks and see what he can find. Maybe some lobster or something like that. And then I'm going to just get to fish from the rocks. So, good luck. Thank you. All right. Appreciate Steve for some bait here. Oh man. Oh man, ladies and gentlemen, I'm excited. All right. Please get it. All right, guys. Let's see what's under there. So, my dad loves snorkeling about as much as he loves fishing. I think fishing has a slight edge, but snorkeling is a very close second. Collecting some. 
cool shells there. You see jellyfish. A lot of them were congregated. I think the wind was blowing them in this corner and all the junk and stuff. But it was also blowing some fish in the corner, as you guys can see some big snapper in the back there. Two big ones headed your way. Two fish about that big going that way. Just right out here. Let a couple fishermen know they were on the right path. And then he found a crab, a good sized blue crab, underneath this rock. As he was looking for lobster, that's what he's hoping to find, but blue crabs are cool too. It's funny because blue crabs are way faster than uh, the crabs we're used to catching, like Dungeness. And, and Dungeness, you usually can, once you're on top of them, if you want to just grab them, you just do. But these little blue crabs have swimmer like flippers on their back legs and they are way faster at swimming than most other crabs probably one of the fastest if not the fastest swimming crab out there but my dad kept up with him and got him and then he found another little specimen under this rock didn't want to get pinched by it it is a baby stone crab which was cool. I actually didn't know they had these in the Panhandle of Florida. They have, they have a little bit of everything. Like I said, this is his first time snorkeling it, so a lot of cool stuff down there. Check out all the bait that was swimming around. That's why the fishing can sometimes be hard when all the bait fish are around, is you have a, the challenge of getting the big fish to notice your bait in the midst of all of these options. It's like going to a buffet and trying to get them to notice your little offering uh, so that can make fishing a little slow even though the conditions are good uh, that's why you have to usually have a wounded minnow on but a lot of bait a lot of cool stuff to see including this beautiful jellyfish a lot of times these wash up near the shore dead so to see him like just in open water freely swimming around was cool so he was having a good time meanwhile I kept on the fishing tack and you can see the heron watching me there, waiting for a free meal that he can steal. <sighs> yeah, I see you. I see you. Cover up my bait here. He stole the last piece. Are you a subscriber? Yes, sir. Oh, cool. What's your name? I've been dying to meet you. <laughs> cool. You mind being in a video? <laughs> What's your name, man? Logan. Logan, nice, nice to meet you, Logan. Nice cool. If you want, I've got something for you. Really? Yep. I, for subscribers that I run into, awesome. level up in real life race if you want. So, yeah. Oh, that is cool. Cool. Have you had to catch anything? I caught some over there on the middle there, a couple of Spanish lady fish in there. Lost oh. one little hammer here. Did you walk all the way to the end? No, sir. I actually just got here. I'm going to see if I catch something down there. Okay, nice. nice. Yes, sir. Well, yeah, let me know if you catch anything. Yes, sir. It's good to meet you, Logan. Nice to meet you. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, if, if you don't want them, are you leaving? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'd love to take them. Thank, appreciate it. Appreciate it. I'll scoop them out. Thank you so much. Thank you, Steve. I appreciate that. Careful to all right. The red, um, do, are you not going <laughs> to, you no, don't really, you I don't, do it on the regular. You do on the regular? Um, gosh. You, you, you keep, I really appreciate uh, that, but yeah, I know how that, <laughs> I appreciate you so much. Yes, Thank so. you so much. With very few bites or action, and little spurts of like fish jumping and stuff. I have a mud minnow on now that Steve gave me. And I just put a, some light split shots on it and I'm gonna not quite free line it but close to just free line it around. Oh hey! I was getting a little worried about you. <laughs> no, no, I mean I was just like well I hope he comes back soon or I might, uh, yeah, no, I might take a stroll. How is it? I got two crabs. Oh that's cool. Yeah I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if they're keepers actually. I'll show you what I've got what we have already it probably is oh nice that's, cool. that's fun yeah uh -huh. we caught him saw him down there oh yeah it is a little stuff maybe stone crab i think that'd be bigger than that oh yeah look at the big mid on that guy yep. that's cool uh, oh almost. yeah don't let him get you there he goes <laughs> yeah even when they're little i've heard they can uh mm -hmm. they have a quite a that's pinch a punch. So, anyway. that's cool pick up some trash guys this is like the moby dick of Mud minnows here. This dude's huge. It's the biggest one in the group. 
I'm just gonna, oh, we got some birds. Oh, there's a dead fish right there. Actually, that may have been the fish that I threw out, so don't get excited. Got one, got one on the big old Moby Dick minnow. Better tighten my drag a little bit so I can get him out of the rocks. Yes. Oh, it's not that big. He's coming in or he's swimming right toward me. What is this? The drag was set really light. It's a snapper of some sort, but oh, it might be a keeper. Keep my bait on there, bro. Look at that, it's a keeper snapper. First fish of the day. It took, took a little while, but well, and he left me the bait too. Sweet. Uh, do I stick him in with the bait? Well, he'll eat a few probably, but uh, there we go. <laughs> I'm going to get it back out there, folks. Might be an evening bite. You can see where the sun is. Definitely was dead all afternoon. Yeah, I see you. You want a piece of this, don't you? Got him. Yes, guys, got a good one. On the bait that Steve gave me. What is, oh, it's another snapper. Another nice snapper. Thank you, Steve. I was having a hard time. Look at that beautiful snapper. Woo. Steve, I was having a hard time the other day trying how to, trying to get rid of the pinfish and uh, use a little live bait was just the ticket. That is beautiful. Oh, sweet. There we go. Wow. That's a yeah, pancake, that's a pancake man. size one there. Ooh. Oh, guys, these are one of the tastiest fish around. Yeah, they're starting to bite now. Oh, got one. He didn't even, oh, 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 he just took off with it. Like, like a shot. It didn't even have time to sink to the bottom or anything. Wait, wait, he's picking up again. Got him. This is a mackerel or something. No, it's a, it's a, it's a needlefish. It's a needlefish. Some kind, oh no, it's a, like a crocodile needlefish. Oh, and they're more with him. They're more swimming with him. It's a, it's a, um, what do they call those in Hawaii? There's a name for them. Yeah, crocodile, we call them crocodile needlefish. I think they're good to eat when they're small. When they're big, they're like barracuda. They have, oh, just came out. Oh, shoot, there he goes. Oh, I heard him splash. Well, he just got away. <laughs> yeah, it was right when it hit, he grabbed it. Oh, look at this. Ooh. Hey, who, hey, who? What is this? <laughs> Something had it. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> Here, you have this one. I think there might be something biting on it. <laughs> so something <laughs> crabbed. Oh, he don't. <laughs> Glad he let go or didn't pull it anymore. It looks like he just let go of the fish. Now they're biting. See, so it's dead all afternoon, and now we've got getting two bites all at once. Oh, where was a bite? Come on with it. Got him. Got him. Big fish. Big fish. Whoa, big fish, guys. Big fish. This is what I've been hoping for. This is what I've been hoping for. What do we got? What do we got while it's getting dark? This is what I've been waiting for. Oh, it's not that giant, but it's a real nice mangrove. <laughs> no, I got it. Mm -hmm. It's a real nice mangrove. Wow, biggest one of the day right there. 
big. Wow, look at that guy's little evening magic here. Yes, let's get him over. He ain't in the box yet. All right, let's set him down. Let's set him get down. the pliers. Okay. You can hold him? Mm-hmm. Oh man, look at those mm. teeth. Oh, <laughs> Was that on the uh, fish head? Mm, uh -uh. I'm just on the fish. You know what we're gonna do is I'm gonna um. Gonna kill him? Yeah, we're just gonna kill him because he's gonna. Yeah, I don't want to destroy in the box. Oh, oh. Well, guys, huge shout out to Steve. Thank you so much for the bait. Caught. I think the bait you gave me caught all the fish this evening. So appreciate that. We're gonna pack it in for tonight and uh, see y'all tomorrow. All right. So there's this bird. Just chill it here. He might have run into the glass because I just heard it clink. There you go. You all right? You all right? You gonna recover? There we go. No, you wanna just be my friend? Okay, well, I'm, he's pretty tame now. Maybe he's an escaped um, pet bird. I don't know. That would be crazy. Oh, there you go. You're all right. You just need to get your bearings. <laughs> he ran into the glass. Yeah, you're all right. All right, my friends. Now it's time for a little cooking, and I have this cool pavilion. Get to stand under and cook. But I have to say, even though it's summertime in Florida, it is not unbearably hot. In fact, I have been very blessed with weather that's been like sunny and bright, but it's not too hot and muggy. So that's super nice. Really been enjoying that. Got the cooking stuff laid out here. Water bowling already for the blue crabs. It was so cool catching those. And then I'm gonna do something I've never done before is make a sauce for the fish. And I have here some white wine vinegar, salt, butter, a shallot, and some dry white wine for making the sauce. And then just to shout out my catch and cook mugs, we have the octopus edition there, and also has catch and cook on that side as well. The holidays are fast approaching, ladies and gentlemen, and mugs make great gift ideas. We have the Mahi Mahi Catch and Cook. And at the time of this, I have some other mugs in production, like a crab catch and cook and a trout catch and cook. So consider those for you want gift ideas for folks and i'm working on even more designs as we speak so check those out in the description let's get cooking here the first thing i'm gonna tackle are the blue whoa the blue crabs and the sauce with blue crabs in florida the water as you guys see is so amazing clear and incredible there is no reason to add any flavor you know i'm gonna add just a little bit better be too salty than not enough salty um, the water's so clear and beautiful. The crabs are just delicious all by themselves. I'm not going to ruin them with a bunch of flavors. I mean, every once in a while, I'll flavor up blue crabs. Um, but, oops, around here, you just, uh, I just gonna bolt straight up bowl them. These have been on ice the whole time. I just took them out of the ice. But uh, just to let you guys know, blue crabs, they say, do, oops, you gotta be careful. I don't know why, I just need to grab these suckers. Blue crabs do last three to five days on ice in the cooler. So that's what the internet said. And you know, everything you read on the internet is 100% true all the time. All right, let's get that back to a bowl. All right, and for the sauce, I'm gonna add some white wine vinegar. I'm supposed to add about a quarter cup. I do not have measuring implements out here with me. So we'll do like that. And this, about a whole one of these the white wine cut up a shallot not 100% sure the difference between an onion and a shallot but there we go they said just a little bit by the way this um, sauce I'm making I believe is called Ber, Ber Blanc but I don't want to offend any French people, so we'll put an asterisk right there, you know. I think that's how you pronounce it, though. Sweet. Gonna add this to 
and the wines and vinegar and turn it on. I gotta let this reduce down. This will take a bit, which is actually totally fine because I gotta let the crabs boil as well. All right, time to get the crabs out. Looking good. I love when they turn red. That is so cool. What I do, what I have here is a little station set up. Um, my dad's gonna come out in just a few minutes and he's gonna pick crabs, which he actually says he likes doing, believe it or not. And he's gonna pick the meat out of these while I cook the fish and stuff. There we go, a nice heap. This is gonna be a fun seafood feast here, folks. And this is reducing down well. I just keep stirring it. Gotta boil all of that wine out of there and just be left with like a little sauce in the bottom. All right, just texted my dad, told him that the crabs are done and cooled off so he can pick them. He'll come out in just a second. Guys, this is reduced way down. I mean, I almost have nothing in there. And now I was told I'm supposed to ever so slowly add the butter. Not supposed to do this with the whisk, but there it is. So I've got that reduced down. This is actually kind of, <laughs> this is actually really fun. Learning something new. I've never really made a sauce for fish before. And for the final bit, I'm going to turn it off. And yeah, power heat is off. And they said, and then add the last bit of butter. I'm not sure why, maybe the butter helps cool it down just a little bit. Maybe you don't want it to keep cooking. That's actually probably why. So they said, turn it off and take it off and then add the last bit of butter. All right, my friends, time. I think what I'm gonna do with these fish, hey, Pops, how are you? Hey. Man, I'm ready to pick, pick some crabs. I got everything all set up right there for you. Look, I finished the sauce, so oh I guess word. it's buttery and good. Nice. We'll, see if, we'll see how it tastes. We'll yeah. see if I did it right. <laughs> With these fish, I think I'm just gonna cook the snapper whole since these are kind of a kind of a small, mid-sized fish here. We're just gonna cook a couple for this lunch. Just a little olive oil here, folks. Um, there's already some butter in here from the sauce and I just left it that way and then right at the last second folks there were some cavenders just in the kitchen and I thought wait a second I haven't used cavenders on fish in a long time and folks this is a fantastic seasoning it has a lot of garlic and uh, salt black pepper garlic oregano parsley and other things but it's a it's a Greek seasoning it'll go perfect I think with the sauce the sauce I already got going on I scaled and scored the snapper. Fits in there perfectly. Another one fits in there perfectly. Sweet. A little dusting of salt. I'm not gonna go too heavy with any of the seasonings because we have that good sauce that we want to try on. How's it going, Pops? Good, good. <laughs> what? I have to say, guys, blue crabs are a lot of work. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, you got the uh... Alaskan king crab, those are the easiest mm. for the most meat. Then mm -hmm. you've got the snow crabs, and then you've got the dungeness crabs. These are the ones I've eaten here. And then the blue crabs. They're the most work, mm -hmm. but uh, they are good. They are They're good. very sweet. Mm. Yes. Guys, we have here some uh, asparagus, which I thought would go well. Gotta have some vegetables, you know, with uh, this meat we got going on here. Mm, Order up. <laughs> Fresh snap. Caught by our local fisherman. Market price. This one fell apart. He's ugly as sin. He'll be as delicious as anything. That's funny, even with that oil and butter, they still stuck to the pan. It's odd. And there are two methods with the sauce, guys. You can either pour it right over top, which is what I'm going to do since we have whole fish. Or you can actually cook the fish in the sauce, or you can dip the fish in the sauce. So I guess that's three methods, I said two. So we're just going to pour that over each one. Alright. Mm. Alright, I'll pray for us. Sounds good. Dear Lord, thank you so much for the wonderful creation we got to enjoy, and thank you for the variety of, of creatures you've made for us to uh, find and eat. 
I ask you to bless this food to our bodies now. Through Jesus I pray. Amen. Amen. Yeah, let's start with the fish. All right, let's see what the sauce is like. Cheers. Cheers. That's nice. That's that's different than anything I've made before. Mm -hmm. Super buttery and smooth. Mm -hmm. I love those onions or shallots. That's mm -hmm. good. Yeah. In fact, it could have more shallots on it. As far yes. as I'm concerned, like yeah. that thing was filled up with them. Like a liver and onions dish where you have a lot of onions. Because mm -hmm. it's a really good bite to get like a bit of shallot and the, the snapper. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. All right, should we try the blue crab? Oh, yeah. Gotta try the blue crab. I'm not going to bank on it. There you go. Cheers. Cheers. Don't want to lose any. Spill. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. That is sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like everybody says, ma'am. That's that's really incredible, that blue mm -hmm. crab. And then put it in a little bit of that butter there, and you're right in mm -hmm. business. Look at that mm -hmm. big old fork of it. Mm. And with some fish. I'm doing some fish, too. Mm. Guys, we cooked, I forgot to mention this, we cooked the asparagus in the microwave, which is the best way to have asparagus. It, it For some reason, it comes out the perfect uh, consistency. And, and that we I took a little bundle, about half of what we had. You wrap it in moist paper towels, put it in for two minutes, let it sit. Boom, you're, you're good. And it is, mm -hmm. every time it's good. Mm -hmm. And it's consistent all the way through when you cook mm -hmm. it in the microwave. Wow. Um, not to mm -hmm. say, the sauce goes with everything. It goes with the crab. It's great on the asparagus, mm -hmm. great on the fish. So you can just kind of mix everything together. Mm -hmm. oh, that's, a, that's a winner, I'd say. Oh, yeah. My friend, a successful three days here. Pops, thank you for Oh, my pleasure. This is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to check out his channel. Link down in the description. He eats food as well. It's a little different though. Thank you guys for hanging out. We'll see you in the next one.